You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Come on in. Have a seat. Okay. Who's with you? Okay, they can have a seat too. You ready? <clears throat> this is what happens in hell. Read it. Chapter and verse. St. Luke 16 and 19. There was a certain man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared presumptuously and excuse me, and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Go ahead. Moreover the dogs came and licked, the, licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Go ahead. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and see if Abraham will fall off. So when, when you die, if you're righteous, or if you've found favor in, in, in the eyes of the Most High in Christ, you go into what they call the bosom of Abraham. Now, you're going to find that this cavern is in the center of the earth. The righteous is being held in one part. They can see what's going on on one side, and the evil is on one side. And the people that are being judged for their wickedness can see the righteousness or the bosom of Abraham. There's no people floating up into heaven waiting to be reincarnated. Okay? There's no people floating up into heaven. That's the most high's realm. Okay, we're there before we come into the earth. That's our spirits come from the Father. Go into the womb. But once we in the earth, that's where mankind dwells. Okay? Your soul even dwells here until... Christ come back, and if you're in the bosom of Abraham, the dead in Christ shall rise. That proves that you're not where the Father is. If you was with the Father when Christ come back, you would come back with Christ. So if you're rising, where are you rising from? The bosom of Abraham in the center of the earth. So that, that mess they teach and you die and go to heaven, that's madness. Paradise is in the center of the earth also. And we're going to prove it. Read. Verse 23. And in hell he lifted up his eyes. And in hell he lifted up his eyes. Read. Being in torment. And seeth Abraham afar off. He see Abraham afar off. So how can he see Abraham afar off? And how can he see the bosom of Abraham if it's not where hell is? If it's not in the center of the earth? Read. And Lazarus, Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the, dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this, in this flame. Go ahead. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou and thy life receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. Go ahead. But now is he confront, comforted, and thou art tormented. Now he's comforted, and you, you all are tormented. Read on. And beside all this... Between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which pass, which would pass from this to you cannot. So there's a gulf fixed between between the the wicked that are being judged and the righteous. So there's a gulf in between. You're going to find that there's a cavern of fire that's between the two, which is lava. Go ahead. That will separate the heat from getting to the people of Abraham's Well. The angels are protecting the heat. That's why I'm going to show you. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. I need you to finish reading that. Go ahead. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. Go ahead. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into this place of torment. So he said, listen, man, why don't y'all send some people up? Why don't y'all send some angels up to warn them? Please. Because he's being tormented, and he knows that based on what his brothers were doing, they're going to end up in the same place he's in. Read. Verse 29. Abraham saith unto him, they have Moses and the prophets. They have Moses and the prophets. They have the Bible. 
with them. Moses is the Torah and the prophets is the Tanakh. Read. Let them hear them. Let them hear the Bible. Y'all see that? Read on. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went up unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither would they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Exactly. Christ rose from the dead. That's what it's saying. They're not going to believe. Though one rose from the dead. And it's deep that he said that because when Christ was crucified, when he, when, his, when he gave up the ghost, Christ had dead people come out of their tombs and knock on their family doors and tell them, listen, Christ, has, Christ is the Lord. And people still sin after that. Imagine somebody you knew just died knock, knocking on your door telling you, yo, I'm here. Look at me. Christ just came and preached and talked to us. <laughs> and people still didn't. We'll get it. People still are doing sin and doing wickedness. The one came from the dead, right? Now I'm going to show you that in this book, there's 70 verses missing from this book. But of course, when they dig, when they dig, uh, when they dig during the Crumb Room Cave and and did did excavations in our area, they found 70 verses. That the Most High told Edris to hide. That's why we have the annotated apocrypha. In the annotated apocrypha, it had the seventy scriptures that it told that, that the Most High told Edris to hide from mankind. And in the seventy, because don't forget this is Cambridge annotated to let you know that our universities have our records. They put the seventy scriptures in the book, right? And in the in the seventy. It tell you exactly what happens to mankind after death. 